Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about Cypress dashboard or cloud, Cypress cloud. How we are going to run the test cases in the Cypress cloud. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Okay. Okay. See, I already have three test cases. So under Cypress questions, there are two test cases under event folder. So there is one test case direct. So totally three test cases we have. So we are going to run. So previous sessions we have seen we are running the test cases from the terminal, right? Now we are generating the report here. And now how to use the Cypress dashboard or Cypress cloud, we will see it. Okay. Okay. Go to terminal. Use NPX Cypress. Open. <clears throat> okay. So this is the Cypress console or Cypress test runner, we will say. So login is there. See, so click on login. So login to Cypress dashboard. So it is asking, like you can log in through GitHub, Google, SSO, login with email. So instead of sign up now, I'm going with the Google. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, I have learning. So this is my already have logged into logged into Google account. Right? So it is asking create organization. Hmm. Say Aho. Open a learning index. Okay, our whole learnings on V by. Okay, this is my organization name I am given. So, create organization. So, I am skipping for now. Just skip for now. Just skip it. Invite your team members. Just skip it. So this is the Cypress dashboard overview. Our Cypress cloud. So we can say Cypress cloud or Cypress dashboard. See, you can see onboarding progress, create project. We already created it. Right? This is our project. So we can run, even we can integrate with the CA, CD pipeline. So we have default projects. For now, see here, See project setup, right? So you need to concentrate on this. So this is the project setup. So update your Cypress config file with the project setup. What is the project setup? There are two key features here. Hmm? Earlier version 9, version 10. So this is the earlier version 9. So, but we are in the version 10. Hmm? Now we are in the version 10, right? Version 10 and above. I'm in the 12 version. Copy this project ID. What they are telling? So copy this project ID. And update in the cypress.config.json file. So we need to update on the module.exports. Okay. And go to our project, go to cypress.config.js, and I'll module.exports under npm. We can update here. So come on. So project ID. This is key. This is very important. We need to remember this project ID. So once the project ID is set up. Okay, I have added my project ID. Next. So, oh, we are not integrating to any, any of that. So, later we will see. We will try to integrate with GitHub, GitHub, Circle CI. So, I will, I will try to teach those sessions also. But for now, just back it. So we need the, this one. We need the key, key for it. We need the key for it. Next, okay. Choose your provider. Manual setup. Next, okay. So I have selected the manual setup. Then copy this key. Try run record run in your terminal. So this is the key. Hmm? So for recording and parallelization to work, Cypress record key in your CA environment variables. 
this is the Cypress record key. Copy this record key and paste it somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so this is very important project key, project ID, and the Cypress. Okay, okay. this is our key. Hmm? See, this is the command we need to use it to record the key. Hmm? iPhone, iPhone record that key we need to provide. Hmm? So, read our guidelines, which is present. Same iPhone iPhone key ABC one to three. Same, this is the way we need to use it. Okay. Okay. Now what I'll do? So take this key. So like this will provide like this. See hyphen hyphen key. Hmm? Record hyphen hyphen key for ABC one two three. Hmm? So set up a project to record. Okay. Record hyphen hyphen key equal to set. Okay. Now copy this, create one more script file. Okay. Create one more script file. Okay. Mm -hmm. I press loud front or cypress dashboard. I wish cypress dashboard dashboard mm -hmm. run. Mm -hmm. I will provide this command here. Okay, control. Okay. So mm -hmm. the setup is done. Okay, now. Control C, yes, right, and okay, CLS. Now I run the test cases from here. Pick this script file name npm run Cypress dashboard run. See, it is it has picked this desk pick this record key. How this is integrating is this key by product ID, project ID, this project ID. Okay. So it has picked. Okay, it is running in the electron browser. So the command now, whatever we have provided the script now, it is running in the electron browser. So we did not provide browser Chrome headed mode like that. So it is running in the headless mode. Okay. Let it run. Okay, so the test run, test, see, the tests are run, okay, now go to Cypress dashboard, 
ஒரு and uh, if you want to see the complete information exhibition or status last modified so this information and all we can verify what are the specs totally three specs see it is giving three specs files set so test results we can find it based on say view output individual output okay? say how we are running through command line so even commands that screenshot it is giving okay? terminal screenshot it is giving view output see bot browser name is electron what is the windows version see we have selected end to end we are testing we are doing hmm? what is the time of time frame or like time so what is the timeline it took hmm? and going to the specs now here you can see the file name hmm? with at what time it has run so 9 seconds 11 seconds 7 seconds hmm? it has took the time hmm? see here output we can see here also the screenshot we can get it see here also the time when we are giving the information so if any fail no that will generate the screenshot if it is pass even you can see the video here you can see the video so this is the advantage of cypress cloud or cypress dashboard okay now what i am doing intentionally i am failing one of the test case she should length should have i am five now it is coming i am given six here so intentionally i am failing we will verify the fail report so before running the test cases so what i will do now i will run in the headed mode so headed mode copy this browser now browser chrome headed mode provide here browser chrome headed mode have we called this key okay so i press run now just observe now i am running npm run so i press dashboard run okay enter now it will run in the headed mode so let it run the exhibition this test case the solution okay. we are failing yeah. intentionally right <clears throat>
If six from the three, within this three, two parts one failed, right? I'll explain you at the last so about this link. About this link. Okay, but uh, go here. Go here, go to last run results again. See, so this is the previous run results. This is the last run results. Okay. See, we are launching the browser. It is taking launching the browser. It took only one minute for seven seconds, but it took 58 seconds within the electron browser. Okay. Because there is a failure, right? Yes. So I'm opening this. See, now you can see fail. Even you can see overview. No? So three tests. See two tests pass, one test fail. Like this, this is the this, this is the last one. This is the last one results. Three tests goes pass. Mm -hmm. Now we have the current run results where two tests pass, one is failed. So even we can see the trending chart. Mm -hmm. So even the fail, where it got failed, and why it got failed. See, it is giving some information. See, automatic only visible elements. So this test case got failed. What is the screenshot? We can refer from this screenshot. So this is the screenshot. See, there are totally it is giving six, right? I put seven. So that is the reason it failed. So timeout, okay, five, six. This is the error message it is giving. So this information, we can find out. So this is very good, very good for um, implementation, okay? Specs three. So this is the test case got paused. Even you can see the video, see the screenshot appearing here also. Okay. Yeah, errors. Error, so why it got failed error hmm? from here. So we are now getting there on. Okay. So this is the importance of Cypress dashboard, or we will say Cypress Cloud. So where, where we can run the test cases. Hmm? And I told you right at the end. So this is the link. What, what is the use of this link? See, normally whenever you complete the execution with this uh, cloud, right? With this project is integrated with the uh, configuration file, right? So whenever we run this test case. Say so for every run, two. So next for next run, it will be three. It will be four get updated here. Okay. So you sometimes huh, we are not logged into dashboard link, right? So that's why it is providing after completing the execution, it is providing the link also recorded run. You can take this recorded run directly and you can put in one browser. You can launch from this URL. See, you will navigate to come directly to this results. Okay. So this is the advantage it is providing. And also, whoever in this organization, you know, whoever access, whoever got the access for this organization for this project, you no, know, directly we can share this URL to those people. So those people directly can view access this URL and they can see the results. We no need to give the report. We no need to share, give, give the report, and we no need to share it. So directly with this URL, they are able to access it. So this is the Cypress dashboard session. I hope it is very useful for implementing. Thank you.